Hi, I'm Anna Denton Jones of Refreshing Law Limited. Happy New Year to you all. Um, for this first session of 2018, as well as obviously having a new haircut, um, I wanted to focus on uh, the immigration case that I've seen recently. Now, you might like me. Um, perhaps be tempted to switch off when you hear about um, immigration issues thinking oh you know there are other people who um, know far more about that subject than I. Um, I certainly can um, put you in touch with somebody locally who specialises in, in such issues but I think one of the themes that we're starting to see certainly before Brexit and it's likely to become more of an issue afterwards is that we're all going to have to get a bit better at um, looking at immigration issues so that needs to be one of our new year's resolutions for 2018. The particular case that I wanted to draw your attention to is a scenario where um, you perhaps pick up um, that somebody's immigration position in terms of their entitlement to work in the UK is perhaps not what you thought it was. So for example you might uh, inherit some staff under a Tupi transfer and of course you've got 21 days following the transfer to make sure you've got um, the appropriate documentation in relation to those people on file to show that you've made the correct checks in relation to their status to work in the UK um, or you might simply um, discover that something that you had from an employee in the past, um, maybe their passport or another um, immigration related document um, has now lapsed and you might be thinking that you're in a different position now with that employee than you were perhaps when you originally looked at those those documents. Uh, of course under the immigration and asylum legislation it can be a £20,000 fine for an employer to have got the position wrong in terms of the documentation that they're retaining for that person so something that we all need to worry about. You may be thinking that it's quite straightforward if somebody doesn't have the right bits of paper and can't show you that they are entitled to work in the UK, potentially, if it would be illegal for you to then employ that person, um, you may be thinking I've got a nice straightforward and fair dismissal uh, case here. Uh, I've got my pathway through that unfair dismissal because I've got a potentially fair reason to dismiss them, namely that it would be illegal um, to continue to employ them and you know as long as I follow uh, a bit of a process in, in, in doing that then I'm going to be safe. And I think uh, the recent case that I'm talking about involved um, a, a Jamaican national who um, his passport had actually expired um, the employer treated it as meaning he could no longer work in the London bus company that he was working for as he wouldn't have had permission to be here. They didn't go on and really check out what the details were regarding his um, position to be here in the UK and he'd actually been here for long enough um, that he qualified um, to, to stay um, so he was unfairly dismissed by them. Um, I think it shows that we probably all need to delve a little bit deeper into these sorts of cases when we are dealing with them before we know we are in that safe territory um, and it's certainly something worth taking advice on on a case-by-case -case basis um, without sort of jumping to conclusions if you like.